traffic on I-595 in Broward. Tonight, the FBI says that crash led to the arrest of a bank robber who hit a Wells Fargo in Miami this morning. CBS 4's Joan Murray has more tonight from Davey. It ended violently with an overturned car crashed in the median of westbound 595 just before the turnpike exit. The man at the wheel who was not hurt is 26-year-old Oscar Rivas, according to the FBI. That's him propped against a police car. The FBI said Rivas was wanted for robbing a Miami bank three hours earlier and 30 miles south. Are you going to be reopening? The Wells Fargo branch on Northwest 14th Street in the heart of the busy University of Miami Jackson Medical Campus was robbed 8.40 in the morning. The FBI released crystal clear photos of the robber they say is Rivas. You see his gun and backpack. He demanded money, they say, and walked out. It's kind of scary. Wow, it's incredible. It's bad. That's the social we live in right now. This is what wow. Set. Police had a description of his getaway car. They say Rivas was spotted on 95, and there was a pursuit by the Miami-Dade Police and Broward Sheriff's Office. After rolling over, Rivas surrendered without a fight. The FBI said there were no injuries and no shots fired. I think it's unfortunate that people need to rob banks in today's world and uh, don't know how much you'd get from robbing a bank uh, cash-wise. I think you get more problems than it's probably worth. As of Friday afternoon, the Miami Wells Fargo Bank was still shut down because of the holdup, frustrating some customers. I can't judge him, but it's it's hurting for me because now I have to go back. I have no money and I didn't pay any bills. So whoever you are, I know you did what you did. It wasn't right, but you thought it was for you, but it, it hurt other people. The car was towed and traffic is back to normal on 595. Revis is in federal custody and he will have a hearing in federal court, Miami. In Davie, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.